people, I'm Jenny Mullen. And I'm Jason Mullen, Biggs. And this is our home. Come on in. Okay, first we would like to show you our epic foyer. It's our really big, don't be intimidated. Here is some stuff that we've collected <laughs> because at one point I did have a midlife crisis where I decided that I was a vintage furniture dealer and I scoured the internet to find this round mirror. There was actually one I saw in LA that this woman Night Palm had, but she lost me as soon as she said that it was a portal to another dimension. And if you know anything about me, you know that I hate you portals hate dimensions, to other dimensions. Other dimensions it especially. It scares me a lot. Yeah. So I didn't get that mirror, but I did find a mirror quite similar yeah and then years later lucked out and got a killer deal on this carl springer console so now they match and they have a happy life together these are from my friends at blueprint lighting they do all sorts of different perforated things jason didn't like them in the hallway but he likes them here i do i think they I think they look great here he thought it wasn't the right light i love him. a perforated sconce <laughs> if you know it's... anything about me you know i love a perforated sconce if you know anything about jenny you know she portals hates to other, other dimensions portals to other dimensions so. jason did the floral arrangement do you want to talk about it jason sure, I'd love does to. love I'd love to. Florals. I do. I love a perforated sconce, and I love uh, making thistle? my own floral arrangements. That is a thistle. Oh. Okay, Look great. at you. Look at okay, you. Great. Obviously, some roses, some peonies. Uh, it's just a little something we put together. It's no, but li literally, Jason does want to take a floral arranging class. Yes, but as you can see from this arrangement, I don't need a class. <laughs> so <laughs> that's where I am today. All right, let's go to the kitchen. Sure. That room was, it was a lot to take in. A lot. But you for, guys uh, just marinate with it. Come to the kitchen. A photo. And guess note. what, guys? You're in the kitchen. Okay, here we go. We're in the kitchen now. We live in New York. It's like, I'm sorry. This is the best I can do. Until Jason does another American Pie, we're living here, okay? Uh, this is the island where I do a lot of my thinking, a lot of my eating. We don't really sit down to, to eat with our family, we sort of stand here because we're short order cooks, we're just constantly serving snacks and treats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they sit here, like they're at a restaurant. Dining. Yeah, it's sort of like an open kitchen concept where I'm the <laughs> chef and my kids are just cozying up to the bar at like happy hour and they're just like, you know, Getting I've had enough, had enough martinis, now I'm ready for my tasting menu. And it's just like, okay, <laughs> and here I am. This is, baby, you, this is a cutting board, is what uh, I we call this. I bought you this, I know. Yes. Let's show them up here. So these, this is crystal that my mom gave me. I lost a lot of it when I moved because I didn't care about crystal at the time. I didn't really have a need for it in my life. I was in my 20s and I didn't even know what it meant. Then I finally got one of these. I became an adult and I graduated to a house that had a glass window on it where you have to display shit. So thank God some of it was salvaged and there was something to put in here because otherwise... It would just be empty shelves. It would just be empty shelves. Let's see, over here another one of Jason's amazing floral displays. It's just some tulips. It's just simple, guys. He likes to keep it simple sometimes. He doesn't overthink it. Yeah. It's just a couple delicate tulips yeah. in a cup. That's all you gotta do sometimes. That's all you need. Um, some books. He, we want you guys to know that Jason is a foodie. We want some credit for this. I have been to all of these restaurants, but I have not cooked a single dish from any of those cookbooks. I'm gonna take you guys to the other side of the island because there's really nowhere else to go. So here's the other side of the island. I've got a microwave. We've got an oven. And I've got a dog. A dog. Should we show them what's in our uh, fridge and freezer? Maybe you read my mind. Okay, cool. <laughs> Welcome We're, to our freezer. This is our freezer. You are now uh, entering our freezer. Let's can see. you tell me a little bit about the monster truck that's on the top shelf? This I keep here on special occasions when, let's say, like one of my kids tries to kill the other kid, and can he you? won't put like one of these, let's say, like on his finger. It's like a frozen device. Just ignore that, ignore Son that. We'll deal with that later. So if he won't hold one of these on him, we'll let him hold a monster truck. No, I thought that it's was frozen. because it's a color changer That's when it gets as well, cold. But also it's like, you know, if you're wounded, you just... Oh, you put a monster truck on your neck. Because he doesn't want to deal with that How kind of often thing. has he wounded his jugular? I'm just curious. Maybe a lot. Okay, okay. a lot, okay, more good. than you know. Okay, can you pick that more stuff up? More than you please? know. Thanks. Um, what about the fridge? Anything in there? Let me show you the fridge. Thanks for all your help. Yeah, <laughs> Thanks okay. for all your help. There's one more right down. Yep. If anyone would like one with like a paleo treat, please. They don't have no, at we, it. We don't feed the crew, babe. Okay. The fridge we have. 
I like to have a drawer filled with leaves. Salad of every kind. I don't know what that is. I think that needs that, to go right in the trash. That, that looks... That's normal, it just needs to be cut off. It's spinach. Oh, that's the problem. You <laughs> never know what you're gonna find in here. But I like to always be eating. And having things around that you can eat helps somebody who likes to always be eating. Let's go to the bathroom. You tidy up the kitchen and get ready for when we come return. Okay, sure. Nice follow me. I'll just, I'll be over in the, okay. Welcome to my bathroom. This is where I do fashion shows. So when I'm Instagramming at night, I like to get up here and then all my followers say to me like, are you gonna die while you're up on the tub doing your catwalk? But guess what guys? I haven't fallen yet. Until now. Um, this rug, when I first became a mom, I needed to travel to the mountains of Morocco to meet the women that wove the rug in my house. And this is the Turkish rug. The Moroccan one is actually in the living room. But I became a rug aficionado. I'm obsessed with rugs. Uh, so I picked this guy up, I think at Round Top, a few years ago. Um, over here, we have some sculptures. This is from Jillian Bryce. She's a vintage dealer that I love down in uh, Miami. And she gave me this thing. It's very heavy. Jason was like, why do you keep buying weird slabs of marble? But I have a styled shelf. What's over on this side? Oh, actually, <laughs> this is another one. So my wedding, I didn't love the photos. I really wasn't a big fan of the photos at my wedding. I only like the photos where my back is turned. And here's the unfortunate part of that. My hair was dyed jet black at the time. So when my children see my wedding photos, they always say, who is that lady walking next to daddy? And I like to tell them that that was daddy's first wife. This I got, I don't know, but how rad is this pot? Have you ever seen a picture like this? I got this, I think on like Facebook Marketplace and I'm absolutely obsessed with this thing. So I just leave this here. And I pretend that I, it's, ha, it has a use, but there's never anything in it. It just hangs out there. Another Jillian Bryce. This is a beautiful shot of Positano where I haven't been since before I had kids, but sometimes at night I like to get into the tub, lock the door, tune out the world, and pretend not only that I'm in Positano, but that I'm in Positano before I had kids. And that is a very relaxing thought. So guys, this is my bathroom. What can I say? I hope you enjoyed your time here. Feel free, make, make a tub, take a load off, do a fashion show, and I'll catch you in the living room. Now you're in our living room. This is where we hang out. Mm -hmm. We don't have a TV because we want our kids to engage with us. Yeah, they don't. They don't, but, but yeah, we, we, we try. We, in theory. In theory, we try. Yeah. Uh, my friend Jer Jennifer Harrison helped me design this room. Her name's Flea Market Fab on Instagram. She's amazing. Uh, this is a couch that I got for $300 in Ohio, and we recovered it, put new foam in it, and I think it's pretty awesome and yep. modular and rad. Yeah, we recovered it for $600,000. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. We did so not. It's kind of, no, but, but it was I'm a deal. I'm psyched I got a deal on this couch <laughs> because I love it, and I love it. Mm -hmm. um, the marble table, we only did this because you guys are here because normally there's a giant hideous bumper that goes around the entire table. Rubber bumper. But we wanted to impress you and make you think that like our kids are the type of children that could handle having, being exposed to edges like this and yeah. not wounding themselves, but they're but actually they're not. They're not, they're not. They're not those people at all. Yeah. I designed these pillows, guys. I'm very proud of them. I didn't actually make them, but I did go and pick out the fabric. I love them. the fabric on these it's pillows. It's Pierre Frey Dijon, if you're wondering the color. I was. So these guys are some womb chairs that yep. we recovered in some velvet rust fabric. I love these womb chairs. They are my dad, this is my dad's favorite chair. Yeah. My it dad is, comes over. A womb chair over. is a great chair. It's a great chair. My dad, they have ottomans too, but we don't have room for ottomans. Uh, yeah. So, uh, my dad comes over and sits in these, one of these two chairs and promptly falls asleep. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, he was, two minutes before you guys came, he was still asleep in this chair from a month ago. Um, you just but he, we, he's back. in the back. He's still sleeping. He's in the back now. Um, come here, painting. check this, check out this painting. This is very cool. 
Yeah, this is this is from Eli Klein Gallery in New York. Mm -hmm. uh, so, once after Jason and I got out of our pop surrealist sort of movement, we decided that we were going to move into Chinese art. And Eli has a gallery here in town that represents a bunch of Chinese artists. This is called the Header Series. I love this piece. You know why I love this piece? Because the artist made his own. This is a rice paper, mm -hmm. and he made his own rice paper. And rice paper is transparent, so the painting is actually on the back side of the paper, mm -hmm. except for the header, which he painted on the front. And that's what gives it that really interesting look. And then sort of these textures are yes. kind of cool. And we like sort of that she looks really stressed out, because we feel that <laughs> you identify with that feeling. It just, you know, represents us in our home. <laughs> sure, constantly stressed because of our children. Yes. Yeah. She looks scared of our children. <laughs> The way I, we are scared of my I am children. scared of my children, yeah. In fact, you know what? They could be home at any moment. I think you guys better leave before you they get home. You should probably here. leave before our kids get home. Yeah. And before my dad wakes up. That's true. <laughs> thank All you, right. people. Guys, Thanks thank for you coming so much over. Thanks for coming by.